On the Ground, presented by The Cube. Here's your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with The Cube. We are on the ground at uh, the RSA conference, 35,000 people, Moscone is packed. I think for the first time in all the years I've been coming to Moscone, I actually had to park on the top of the parking structure, which has never happened before. But security's obviously big, security's baked into everything. We're excited to come up and take a look, see what's going on, and we're excited to be joined by our next guest, Amran Shahar, co-founder and, and CEO of Spotinst. Welcome. Welcome, how are you doing? Absolutely, so you have a very interesting uh, company we're excited to learn more about. So for people that aren't familiar, give them kind of the overview of the company. Yeah, so we are Spotinst, we are a Tel Aviv based startup. Uh, we're just in a relocation uh, uh, transition to the Bay Area. Uh, we have a very interesting product, which is allowing cloud customers to achieve significant savings over their cloud infrastructure. So a little bit more, so how are they, in savings over their cloud infrastructure, that seems kind of vague. Yeah. We'll jump right into it, we were talking a little bit off camera. You basically have an efficient marketplace for excess AWS resources, did I get it right? That's right, like we're helping both customers and cloud providers to better engagement and get the resources more efficiently by buying from excess capacity that AWS has to offer, but like helping the customers to get it in low prices in full availability. Okay, so this is interesting. So we have Jason on all the time from Cycle Computing. He's yeah. actually probably one of your customers, or should be one of your customers. He buys excess computing to do really big batch jobs, really big test jobs for his clients. Like I think the example he uses HGST doing lifetime cycle uh, testing on hard drives. So he would be your customer, right? Because he's buying that excess capacity? Yeah, of course, but you know, I think that the thing is not only to bring excess capacity for this kind of workloads, not only for batch processing or large offline processing, the real news that we're bringing is like bringing the excess capacity for the online, for the production and mission critical application. This is our expertise and this is what we're doing for AWS customers. Okay, so the naysayers I'm sure will say, now come on, are you, you know, if people are using that capacity on a regular basis, what's the play on a smart mark, a, a spot market, because don't they just buy quantity from Amazon at a little bit of a discount? So where does spot fit in the economics of kind of sustained ongoing mission critical workloads? So I think everything is like a matter of how, how hybrid you are. Like you need to be hybrid and buying your own set of resources and then use the access capacity of the cloud whenever you can. And this is essentially what we're providing to customers. Like we run them on their regular compute capacity, but whenever we can, we seamlessly migrate them to access capacity, lowering their cost, slicing the cost, and giving them more performance and more stability to their application while you know, doing it at, at low, high scale at low cost. Okay, so either to move excess capacity just because it's cheap, so it's kind of like buying from a different uh, utility source when there's cheap electricity here versus there, or is it really kind of spikes in demand on those core uh, workloads? Exactly, so basically what we're doing in the market, the market is really based on supply and demand and you never know what's going to happen in the next few days. So by buying for behalf of customer, we're making this market more efficient. We look on AWS access capacity and then we match the demand with the capacity to make sure everyone is, is enjoying from this efficient market, getting low cost services while getting full uptime on their compute capacity. Yeah. Okay, and so what does AWS think about you guys? So AWS really loves us. Uh, they are referring customers to us. We're helping them, you know, to improve the curve of, of growth uh, because we can bring more use cases and more people to use more services on AWS because you know how it is. The more efficient we become in consuming a resource, the more of that resource we consume. This is how it works. Okay, awesome. So let's talk about some of your customers. Um, you said you have over 100 customers. What kind of um, verticals are you guys playing in? So it's essentially all over the place. Uh, we have customers from the uh, uh, financial verticals, also from the ethic verticals, like uh, uh, the uni Israeli unicorn Iron Source, which is more than one billion dollar company, uh, managed to save over hundreds of thousands of dollars every year to get a, a, a with Spotin's platform. Um, so we are very happy to help also from the cybersecurity area. We are helping uh, uh, um, companies for the cybersecurity to protect with DDoS attacks of, 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 theirs, of their customers. Uh, so we're happy to, to be all over the place. Uh, it's not a specific vertical, but we can offer 
for every company that needs more compute power and more performance to get it very easily and efficiently. Okay, so you just shared one example, specific customer example of an ad tech company. Any other examples that you like to showcase of people using your service to save a lot of money? Of course, from the financial uh, uh, market, we have Yodli, uh, uh, US-based Yodli using us, and also uh, Celebrate from the cybersecurity uh, uh, using our platform. Um, many of the customers also are joining from, uh, uh, enjoying from uh, uh, working with us, um, mainly uh, companies with a lot of internet traffic, uh, whether if it's ad tech or cyber. Uh, so both vertical are very common uh, uh, when working with, uh, uh, with our platform. Okay, so we're at the RSA conference, security, 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 all about security. So from where you sit and kind of the evolution of perimeter of security, what are you seeing, what are your customers telling you, well, where do you guys fit and where do you help? So in terms of security, I think that we bring kind of, uh, uh, um, of a new era. Like, um, so far, in order to protect yourself, you probably needed to pay a lot, ton of money for computing power to digest all the requests you need to for unnecessary requests that coming to your server and then to be able to protect yourself by another third party. And right now you can do it by yourself because you can scale at low cost. You can use it from spot instances. This is what this is how we help companies, you know, in the security area. Um, and you know, generally speaking, and security, security is one of our most important things at Spotinst. Uh, we really take care about that, you know, internally because we are working with so many customers around the globe. So uh, we really care about protecting their data and, and, and you know, being more, as much secure as we can in order to, to provide the service we wanted to provide. Ramron, well, uh, thanks for the quick update. When, uh, when are you completing the move over? Are you coming over? Are you setting up a separate office or how's that working? Yeah, this is uh, it's going to be. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, run here the all sales and business development uh, here in the States. Uh, we're very happy to do it. Uh, I think there's a great opportunity here for helping entrepreneurs, both uh, enterprises, to uh, to do a lot with the cloud. You know, we're just in the in the beginning of the the cloud evolution. Awesome, Amrin from Spotinst. You, we are live right here at uh, at Moscone Center, talking about security, talking about AWS, talking about cloud because it all comes back to cloud right. and security. Thanks for joining. I'm Jeff Frick. You're Thank watching you. the Cube. We'll see you next time.